WR250R Diagnostic Testing Mode. Press the reset and the select one buttons, hold them both down, turn the ignition switch on. After about 8 seconds, the bottom of the screen should change and just read DIAG. There we go. Release the two buttons, press both buttons again. We are now in Diagnostic Test 1, which is Throttle Position Sensor. It reads 15 with the throttle closed. As I roll the throttle open, full open is 96. I close it again, it goes back to 15. That is within spec. In order to move up in the test, I just press the Select 1 button. That's the pressure sensor. Here's air temperature sensor, which is showing 71 degrees. 06 is water temperature, coolant temperature. That's also 71. The bike has been sitting, so that's a correct reading. 7 is vehicle speed sensor. The rear wheel is not turning, so I'm not getting anything there. I'm going to go up to battery voltage, which is number 9. I'm going to turn the stop switch on the handlebar on. That's giving me 12.2 volts. That's fine. I'm going to now skip through, go up to 51. That's the fan test. I turn the switch on. The fan will automatically cycle. The computer cycles it on and off. I'm now going to turn that off and go to the next test. This is 52, which is the headlight relay test. I'm not turning this on and off, the computer's doing it. It switches the headlight on and off. Okay, I'm now going to go up to an important one, which is 61. That's going to list my fault codes. And it will go through a total of five codes that I now have in memory. It just rolls through them and then repeats. So it'll start off with the lowest and go to the highest. So I've got the 13, I've got a 14, I've got a 19, I've got a 30, and I've got a 41. One more time, we're going to go up to 62. That tells me that I have five codes in memory, which checks. In order to erase that, I turn the switch on and then off. 